This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at NAB in Las Vegas. I found Oliver Breidenbach of Boink Software on the show floor in the uh, New Media Expo area. Oliver, the last time we talked, you were on Skype. This time you're live and in person. Yeah, it's very exciting uh, to be in Las Vegas and to see you in person. It's that it's the best thing about Las Vegas is to get to meet all the people. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. It's it, it, The whole virtual thing is nice, but there's still nothing like getting together in person. And, and having dinner. <laughs> and having dinner. And we won't go any farther than that. We won't mention cheesecake. <laughs> no, 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 we won't. <laughs> so, Oliver, the last time you were here, you were hinting about Boinks TV 2, about some improvements, some changes that are coming, and now you're going to show us a little bit of it and talk about it. So what's new with Boinks TV 2? So uh, new with Boinks TV 2, uh, we now have live video streaming uh, built right into the product. Uh, you could live stream with Boinks TV 1, uh, but it was kind of a, like a, a little bit uh, inconvenient because you had to use other uh, applications as, uh, besides Boinks TV. That's now fixed. We have, uh, you can now enter your uh, streaming service credentials inside Boeing's TV. Just press the button, and it will stream to the uh, uh, to the to the chosen service. Um, that's probably the the, the headline uh, new feature. Uh, we have also uh, reworked the user interface. Uh, we've uh, improved on the workflow. We now have much bigger screens than we had uh, when we first um, uh, did the first version of Boeing's TV. So we can now show a lot more stuff um, and make much better use of the screen space that we have. Um, it's a, it's got a fresh new uh, look um, and modern, um, uh, more professional uh, uh, type application look. Um, and uh, we've got uh, something cool that's called direct manipulation. So if you want to play with the layers, um, uh, move around titles, text, or stuff like that, you had to use uh, in Boeing TV One. You had to do this with, you know, entering values in text fields or dialing uh, a knob somewhere. Uh, now you can just grab the text in the preview window and drag it around. Um, uh, that's that's basically the big things um, under the hood. Lots of changes. 64-bit, uh, um, as much memory, use as much memory as you want. We can do a live, uh, uh, and we can do a direct SDI playout. Uh, so uh, if you need to uh, have an uh, SDI-based um, uh, workflow and want to uh, use the, um, the content that's created by Boeing's TV and ingest into it, we can do that. We can do Chroma, uh, we can do um, uh, key keying with Alpha Channel. So we can play out uh, two signals, uh, an alpha channel signal and uh, uh, the fill signal, and then you can use those in your uh, hardware-based switcher. So you can basically use Boeing's TV just as a graphi uh, graphics uh, engine on steroids. Um, so lots of exciting changes. Uh, we've, uh, we've looked at... Uh, where our markets is, and we, we found that it's uh, very interesting to ha bring all the Internet of Things stuff into your broadcast, so we can do like uh, what we what we did in the, uh, just a couple of weeks ago was to um, uh, make a connection between a um, um, weather station, a personal weather station, so we can feed the the data from the weather station and visualize it in Boeing's TV and add it to your live stream. Um, all kinds of exciting stuff. We have here um, uh, a little app that we, uh, we're using to scan people's badges that transmits um, the badge code via um, Bluetooth to the uh, Boeing's TV, the Mac running on uh, Boeing's TV. So we can basically take any kind of data anywhere from sensors, from whatever you want, take that into Boeing's TV and start uh, visualizing it by graph with text or whatever. And then that's going to open up a whole, whole lot of uh, new opportunities. There's so many changes here. And I mean, I've, I've played with Boeing's TV. It doesn't really suit what I do. And we had that conversation the other night that this is a, this is a, a TV studio in your Mac. 
and it's a live production TV studio. It's not as much for, for something that's going to be shot and post-processed. This is perfect. Well, I'll let you tell them, you know, what is this perfect for? So, uh, in today's world, uh, people want to create a lot of video uh, uh, very quickly. So, post-production usually takes you a long time uh, you, to get things right, but there's a lot of content that is not really, uh, there's no, no need for editing afterwards. Like, events that happen in real time, it doesn't make sense to do uh, uh, just uh, a post-production just because you want to uh, have three camera angles synced and, and, and uh, switch between. You can do that, for example, when you are recording a talk at a conference or something like that, you can use uh, the, the live switching um, nobody's watching the thing twice. Um, the content is the, the is what matters. Uh, you can uh, go and and basically you can uh, do the video production while the talk is happening. And when the talk is finished, you can upload it to a website, burn it on a DVD or whatever you want to distribute it to your um, attendees. Or you can even live stream it while it's happening uh, to the internet. And there's lots of use cases like that. Um, um, people producing a lot of content also in a studio or something like that where it's news character and where it's just easier if you uh, screw up you just uh, reshot uh, reshoot the thing it's that is even fast uh, still even faster than going back in and, and doing all the edit so uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a li slightly different way of producing video than people are used to but uh, when you do a talk show or something like that, you you work out pretty pretty quickly that um, that uh, it needs a little bit of practice. But after three, four, five shows, you you're basically uh, producing faster than ever before. Yeah, I think we talked about churches. We talked about schools. You brought up some great some great points about civic meetings and all that you may want to stream or record. And you you, you prepare all the lower thirds before and then. 10 minutes after the, it's over, you can have it on the internet. Yeah, sure. Um, or even if it's required, you can live put it live on the internet, yes. So what kind of time frame is there going to be for Boeing's TV2? I know we're still working on it, but when do you expect to, to, to see the light of day? So we are showing a, a preview version, and as you've experienced, it's, <laughs> a, it's a preview version. Um, uh, uh, today, um, uh, we, we plan to start a beta test by the end of April. I think that might slip a little bit, um, um, and uh, later this year we'll uh, uh, have a final version. So um, mostly the uh, underlying uh, core work is done. Uh, we need to do some more uh, 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 polishing on the UI, uh, but we're getting there and uh, it's, it's going to be soon. Now, Boeing CV-1, of course, is still available. And if I recall correctly, isn't there a demo on that you can download and work with? Yeah, it's still the, using the uh, non-App Store um, uh, uh, alternative. So you can go to our website, uh, w, uh, well, yeah, we don't do that anymore, boinx.com uh, uh, slash Boeing's TV and download uh, a demo version uh, that you can try out um, and uh, you know see for yourself how easy it is to produce video with Boeing's TV, and um, and then we will we'll, uh, work something out to uh, give people that already bought the version one uh, a discounted upgrade uh, down the road. And, and folks, this is something go go and check it out if you have any interest in live TV uh, or producing live video. I should say, simply because this is a true full TV studio on your Mac. Uh, it, there is a little bit of a learning curve, but it's it's powerful software and. Powerful software comes with learning curves, unfortunately. Yeah, but we managed to uh, reduce the learning learning curve with uh, Boeing CV2 uh, a little bit, and uh, also, I mean, we see a lot of uh, uh, schools use it, and usually the teachers tell us that the uh, the kids, you know, just figure it out within minutes, and then uh, it, it looks a little bit overwhelming uh, because of all the things you can. Um, you can uh, you can do uh, with the layers and the, all the settings for the layers and stuff like that, but if uh, if it's just three, four simple principles, and if you've got those, in, uh, if you understood those, then it's pretty easy to work with it. Um, it it's uh, the more interesting things you want to do, the the more interesting mind games uh, uh, result from how figuring out how to uh, structure the layers and stuff like that. But uh, we haven't. 
uh, basically we never encountered anything that uh, was thrown at us that we couldn't do uh, with Boeing's TV. Um, and uh, that's, that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, to see how people use it to yeah. their ends, even probably in ways you never anticipated. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what one thing we never anticipated is that people would actually use it for video DJing. Um, and I actually had, uh, had uh, the, the pleasure of doing that myself at a party a couple of uh, months ago uh, in Salzburg. And uh, the, that was at a public access TV station, and I played around with Boeing's TV that they're using for their uh, for producing their program. And uh, did all the you know effects, you know, really played with the source effects and stuff like that, and and they actually sent that out to cable. So, <laughs> so you're a star. Yeah, I'm a star. Yeah. <laughs> I think three people saw it, maybe, but <laughs> well, that's all right. You got to start somewhere. I also, before we wrap up, I want to mention you're doing a kind of a cool way to demonstrate this. It's, this is not your typical demo, and that's something I think Boinks has become known for. Whenever you see Boinks at a trade show. You, you guys have something strange going on that is fun and shows off the software. Yeah, yeah. So we have uh, like a, a dartboard uh, that we hooked up with USB to the Mac. So when you uh, hit uh, one of the segments, uh, it transmits the value of the segment to the Mac, and the Mac turns it into a graphical representation of where you where you hit uh, the dartboard and also counts the um, the the, uh, the score. Right. So we uh, we show uh, using this we show how you can automate input that you take from any device, any sensor, whatever, uh, turn it into interesting graphics and uh, do something interesting with it. And uh, that it's, it's a lot of fun to come up with these kinds of things. Well, with, and with a little luck, right about here, folks, you'll see me participate in the game show. And Welcome to the Boinks Nerf Dart Tournament, and my contestant today is. Chuck Joyner. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Good, Bastion. How are you? Okay, now you have got the duty to shoot at our dartboard and score as good as you can. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Okay, let's start the game. Get ready. That's what it says there on the screen. And now you can shoot. Okay, the first is an 18. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can you do even better than an 18? It's going to be hard because 18 is hard to hit, hard to beat. And, ooh, almost a 20. That was so close to a 20. We're at 19 points right now. Whoa, a 60. Whoa, you're kidding me. A triple 20. That's the best score you can you can hit there. So you hit, you did 79 points. I think that's seriously the the show floor record for now. So you right now you're holding the record. That's pretty amazing. I don't think I haven't scored a 60. I'm a little bit jealous right now, to be honest. That's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Wow. So thank you very much for um, for joining us in the Boeing's Dart Nerf Dart tournament. And yeah, well, right now you're leading the game. And um, thank you very much for coming in. And goodbye from the Boeing's booth. And then we'll come back and say once again, Oliver, thank you, Boeing's dot com for Boinks TV and eventually Boinks TV too. Yes, yes, Great. soon, soon, very soon. Very soon. It's good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me on the show again so soon after the last time we did that. Uh, and I'm always looking forward to talk to you anywhere in the world. Yeah, and, and next time on the first tee. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We are in Las Vegas for NAB. We will be back again soon. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard, by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.